Today we're going to do a basic titration using our mini titration kit that we sell. This mini titration kit comes with three color-coded syringes and these syringes have oil, alcohol, and titration solution on them. They're written on there and they're color-coded. They also come with three cups that you can use to put the fluid in that you're going to be titrating with and they come with six of these vials and these vials are what we'll do the actual titration with. To get started we're going to need some oil. This is just basic restaurant grade oil that was used. You're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. This is isoheat from a local store. You can also use isopropyl alcohol from the drugstore. And you're going to need some distilled water. And you'll need a container to put the distilled water in. And you'll need a little bit of catalyst. You can use either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. So now it's time to get started. We'll show you how we're going to do this. First of all, I've got my three containers. I like to put the syringes in each container so that I know what's going to be in them. And uh, we're going to make up the solution. The first thing you'd need to do before you ever titrate is make titration solution. To do that, you're going to weigh out a gram of catalyst and a liter of water and put it into a container this is my container that I've pre-made up with a gram of potassium hydroxide and a liter of water. Make sure you mark it as dangerous, especially if it's in an area where someone might pick it up. Uh, this is what we'll be titrating with. So, our next step is after we've got that solution ready, we're then going to pour some alcohol into one of our cups. We'll be titrating with this. We'll put a little bit of titration solution in our titration cup. Now I usually pour out about 30 milliliters. These cups have markings on the side. And then I put a little bit of oil out. For me to titrate with. So we're going to do a basic titration here. I've got my oil, my alcohol, and my titration solution. To do a titration, it's real simple. You're going to put one milliliter of oil in with 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Put in an indicator solution. This is phenolphthalein. You can get it through us at Utah Biodiesel Supply, or you can get it at a local pool store. You can also use phenol red or turmeric powder. Uh, for more information, uh, look on the bottom of the video and you'll see a link and we'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to put 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol into this vial. You'll notice I have gloves on and that's for safety because I am dealing with a, a titration solution here which is somewhat of a, a basic solution. I've got a milliliter of oil and I used some air above this to measure that up so I could see where that was at. I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to cap it. I'm going to shake it around. Get it all mixed up. And now I'm ready to do a titration. I'm going to put a little bit of phenol red in there, or phenol thaline. And it doesn't really matter how many drops you get in there, it just needs to have a little bit because it's just looking to see if the, when the pH changes. Okay, so with that in place, I have 10 milliliters of titration solution ready to start dropping into here. And my goal is to identify when this changes color and stays purple for about 30 seconds. So you see that's kind of changing. And it goes back to white. There's purple again. And we're almost there. I'd say that's about there. We'll swirl it for a little bit and see if it stays purple. If it doesn't, we'll put a little bit more in. But we're about there. Put a little bit more for good measure. Make sure it's there. And we've titrated. We're now going to do a titration using a magnetic stirrer just to illustrate the difference between the two. We sell this uh, porta stir on our website. Um, and what it comes with is this magnetic base and a little magnet we're going to put in there and we're going to do a titration again. So again we're going to use 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol 
once we have that in there, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to get that spinning. I'm going to put a milliliter of oil in. And put a little drop of phenolphthalein in here. And now I'm going to start putting in measured amounts of titration solution. I have this set at 10, so I know how much is going to go in. And we just start putting it in. The nice thing about this is you don't have to swirl with your hand. You can just mix it around. And we've got a nice consistent color there. We'll let that spin for a little bit. Make sure it looks good. And I think we're there. So we've now put in five and a half milliliters of titration solution to turn this pink and keep it pink. So the basic math says that it's going to take five and a half extra grams per liter of oil to make biodiesel. We used potassium hydroxide, so our base is seven. So seven plus five and a half, twelve and a half grams per liter of oil is what will be necessary to make biodiesel out of this oil. That's how simple it is to titrate.